Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We are here at Green River Lake in Kentucky. It is a beautiful place. We're coming to you from Holmes Bend Marina. And uh, last night was the first cold night they've had of this fall. Believe it or not, we bring it with us everywhere we go. But uh, yesterday we were here pre-fishing. It was nice and warm. The fish were active. We're hoping that continues this morning. I've got a great guest in store. He's actually the first one we ever did a show with here on Brush Pile Fishing, David Jones. So it's always going to be interesting uh, fishing with him. So you stay tuned. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing, folks, here at Green River Lake here in Kentucky with my friend, David Jones. David, how are we doing this I'm morning? Doing good, buddy. Good to see you. Good to have you. I'll tell you what, we got here yesterday. It was nice and warm, and uh, fall has set in overnight, about <laughs> 45 degrees this morning. Look at us this morning. <laughs> it's pretty cool out here. I'll tell you what, David, Green River Lake is where Brush Pile actually started. It was our first show we ever did. It's been eight seasons ago, eight years ago. So we thought we'll come back. We've never done a fall show here. And right. what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to start off fishing some brush piles. Okay. And r right now the bulk of the fish are in 15 to 20 foot of water. And uh, we're going to use some 12 foot BM rods, okay. some crappie wizard rods, you know, our old buddy Richard Williams. Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, we're going to kind of go back to basics a little bit. We're going to fish a double minnow rig, some uh, crappie magnets, and we're going to, you know, plastics and live bait and we're going to push right into them brush piles to start off with and uh, these fish are been being quite a few fish on these brush piles. Okay should be interesting today because like I say last night's actually the first cool night you guys have had right. and uh, nice overcast guys you ready to get started? I'm ready to go buddy. All right Green River Lake here we go. Here's the lake information sponsored by Mossback Fish Habitat. Your gear and conditions, sponsored by Cornfield Fishing Gear. All right, let's push him up in there, see what we can got. Get him. That's the first one of the day. Yes, sir. Not a, not a, monster by no means but folks if you just joined us we are here at green river lake and uh, just getting started on our first brush pile david caught one about a nine and a half inch fish just to get started and the one thing about green is you're not going to get the big trophies that you get some of the others but there's still nice fish in here there's a pound and a half two pound fish yeah. but the numbers of fish here are incredible and if you talk about family fishing, bringing your kids, bringing your wife. Uh, it is incredible here, just the numbers alone. Right. And most of them's gonna be 10 to 12 inch fish, but like I say, you can get those two pounders here too. Right, right. And and you're right, Russ, this is where you come to to uh, put some fish in your refrigerator or, or uh, deep freeze or, you know, or bring a kid, bring your wife, your spouse, whatever, and just get out and, and most every day of the week you can catch a mess of fish here. Yep. We uh, actually got here yesterday, folks, and uh, got to go out for a little bit. And 
Got about a half hour's fishing in. I was actually single pole fishing these brush piles also. And uh, tell you, every one that we pulled up to was loaded with fish and they were, they were active. Yeah. We've had a cold front come through overnight, but. Well, and, and they're gonna bite today. We're gonna catch them. It just take us a few minutes to find them, but we're gonna get them. I tell you something, Russ. You did a while ago. That's a that is a great tip. You know, so many people when they first think they're hung or something, they'll give her a pole a big tug. Yeah. You know, and that just buries the Set hook. Set that hook that, in a little bit more. Yeah, it sets it in a little more. And if if you'll just barely work with it like you did there, that you can get a lot of them undone. Got a. Uh, Got a moss back in here. Okay. And uh, this moss back's been in probably for 10 years. You can see part of it right there. We'll get a better picture over here in a minute. Oh, yeah. But uh, got to see the limb sticking up on the moss back right yep. there? It's laying horizontal this way. Nice. So, uh, fish in there. Yep. Let's we'll see what we can get out of here. Man, some. Hey, look at them fish. I got one. Get him on there? I got him that time. That's a pretty decent crop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good pound fish. That's a that's a good Green River Lake crappie right there. We're about probably 95% all white crappie. And uh, there are a few blacks in here, getting a, getting a few more each year and a few black nose. But uh, on green, it's a nine inch size limit and it's a 20 per person per day but pretty good Green River Lake crappie right there. Hey everyone, Russ and I just have got out here on the water and just started fishing, but we broke off. So I'm gonna show you a little product out there that if you're like me and your eyes are not as good as it used to be, that'll help you thread your pole and not miss any eyes is this RTD, rod threading device. And you just put your line in the little, the little clip here and then you just, and right here, these are 12 foot poles and you just slide it straight up your 12 foot poles just like that right there. And uh, it keeps you from missing your eyes. There's no more missing eyes and it keeps you from uh, the wind dropping in it. Neat little product, solves a problem. There we go. Need a net? No. Now, David, I did something a little different. The bite is finicky this yep. morning, very finicky. So I had that rod in hand and I felt just felt that tick I might not have seen. Uh -huh. So not a big one, but. If you continue to catch them that way, I'll put a rod in my hand too. We talked over earlier in the opening. Last night was the first cold yeah. night you guys have had and it's. Yeah been able to tell it too so far. I seen that one. Man, it is so, so light. There's a good fish. We'll be right there. Get him? Yeah. Folks, just getting started. Finally, bike picking up just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Right there. Right there. Well, fish are active here. Yeah. A lot of nine inch fish. Yeah. But we've dropped down three times, pulled three or four out of here, four times. Another nine inch crappie. So folks, we've pulled up to our second pile. The first pile we called uh, one real nice crappie, but that was about it. Uh, pulled up to the second pile and we caught several fish right off the bat, just not the size. But we are going to get some big ones. What do you got there? Is that one of them? Uh, I mean, it's a not Keep, like we have. Not like we was catching. Keeper fish, but not, uh, uh oh, Ooh. what do you got? 
Oh, he hammered that thing. That's There's a, a good crop. That's a little better fish. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come here. Take a bunch of those all day long. Yeah. That, uh, that right there is what you come to Green River Lake for. Yes, sir. You know, they're not monsters, but they're good eating, you know. Like like we said early, earlier, you can catch you can catch a pound of quarter fish here. And occasionally catch a little bit a little better than that. Well we talked in the opening, green is such a good place for to bring the family because the number of crappie here are pretty awesome. You can get the kids on fish. Yeah. Keep them interested. There you go. All right, all right. Yeah, another little nine three quarter inch crappie. Just a eater size crappie here at Green River Lake. Ask the Angler, sponsored by Holmes Bend Marina, Green River Lake, Kentucky. Hey folks, right now it's time for Ask the Angler. This is a new section we have on our shows. It's where you, the fans, can ask questions for the guests. We had a question submitted on Facebook. They wanted to know, we're in the last week of October, when does the turnover occur here on Green? Okay. Good question. Good question. And, and you know, uh, the water district here in Adair County, we talked about that earlier, they're always asking me when to turn over because I'm out here all the time. But typically the turnover, you know, it's determined by the temperature, okay? okay? When the water underneath gets warmer than the water on top, it flips, Yep. okay? And that is, like I said earlier, is dictated by the outdoor temperature, by the temperature out here. So when we get those cooler nights and this surface temperature starts cooling down, you still got that warmer water underneath. And then when it gets cooler than that warmer water, it flips over. So there's two or three ways you can tell when it flips over. Number one is it has a terrible smell. We okay. went we went by the dam a while ago yeah. and, and, and I said something about the smell. You can smell it. Also, you can see leaves, bubbles, old slime come up and it affects the bite you know, the bite slows down. Right. And for our lake, Green River Lake, normally that will occur somewhere between the middle of October to the end of October. Okay, great question for Ask the Angler. Man, that bite is light. Uh, you gotta have that rod in the hand. A Little bit better fish here. Good deal. Need Ned on this one, Russ. This oh. is good. Oh, yeah. Bring to me. There we go. There's a good green fish. Woo! Yep. That's what we're looking for. And you know what? I'll give Russ the credit. Because I tell you, the bite's been so light today. Russ picked his pole up and started dropping down. And uh, look what he hit right there. I hold jig, black and chartreuse, original crappie magnet. And I'm telling you, he waylaid it. He smacked it. He about pulled the rod out of my hand. Folks, we are pulling back up to our marker buoy, our buoy marker that we have out there. And we're in about 18 foot of water right now. Water temperature is 67 degrees. And we're just slowly getting back up to the spot. You can see our markers out there. And it has been a funny bite. You know, we talked about it last night was the first cold night they've had. And it's, it's affected these fish a little bit. So we've went to uh, actually pole in hand so you could actually feel that little tick. And that's starting to put a few fish in the boat now. That's definitely been the key so far. We've caught a whole lot more fish doing that. And like I said, Russ, I'll credit you for that because you picked that pole up and you said, I'm gonna hold this pole in the hand since it's a finicky bite. And uh, we've probably caught six or seven fish in the last 10 minutes doing that. Yeah. There you, go. you get that line too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, get it. Ah, Two good ones out of this Two good hole. ones here, boys. 
Man, hey, look here, people. Same thing I caught that fish on a while ago. It's two in a row down there. Iho jig, uh, original crappie magnet. Look how they tore it. Just pulled that skirt from there. Good Green River Lake crappie right there. Seven of them will get you a check in a tournament here. What I'm doing, folks, is kind of feeling with this one and keeping an eye on the other ones. But that bite is so, so light. And you know what, Russ? That's one good thing about your show at, uh, you know, you're, you're always trying to help the fishermen. And today we come out here, you know, the last two days they've, they've knocked it. You just have to get close to, to them and, and they'll chase it, they'll knock yeah. it out. And, you know, you was here yesterday afternoon and seen how they was biting and then we had the cold front. And then you just picked that pole up and said, hey, I'm going to try to adapt or yeah. do something, and, and you did, and yeah. and that's a good tip for, you know, the people watching the show. Sometimes you got to do that, and just like you say, the bite has changed so much in a 24-hour mm. period. Yes. Like I said, you, you got to finesse them, man. It's something. That's a good eater fish right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am fishing the eye hole jig pink, and I've got the Butler Gold, which has been a good color for me this fall on several different lakes that I've hit. As Russ and I have been talking, the bice really changed today, and it's really tough. But i tell you something that's been made a little bit of difference, too, is these eye hole jigs and these injector pins from Easy Drift. And what you do is these jigs are exactly the name. They've got a hole in their eye and you just inject these slab bites in each side of them right there. And that has helped us today and it helps on a finicky day. So next time you're out there, try it. Pick up one of these uh, easy drift injector pins and these eye hole jigs and it, it'll make a difference. So David, starting to pick up a few fish now. And as I say that, mm, missed it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, but. Uh, no. You know, we talk about this being a, a family place, and we're staying at Holmes Bend Marina. Oh, what a great place. I'll tell you what, you talk about nice cabins, very clean facilities. You got the awesome marina there. You got a restaurant there. It's a great place for sure. Well, and, and you know, Russ, it, there's a lot of things I like about Holmes Bend, but uh, just, and, and you named a bunch of them, but a couple more is, it's family owned. Yep. They've owned it for 30 years. The Butler family's owned it for 30 years. They take pride in it. And uh, and I'll tell you something else they do. They cater to fishermen. Yeah. They cater to fish cleaning station. You know, they encourage you to come and clean your fish there. And uh, Kelly and Joey and David, I mean, they're just such great people. And, and I'm blessed to be able to work with them. And I know Brush Pile's blessed, you know. We love coming down here. You know, they have always supported brush pile fishing. Yep. You know, because yep. you know the very first show was done here, it was. and uh, Kelly and them has always supported that. And and two, you know, you said earlier you bring your family. You know, if your you know family don't want to fish, and I can't imagine somebody not wanting <laughs> to fish, but if they don't, you know, there's a lot of things they can do there. You know, in the summertime they got a free place to swim. The beach don't cost you anything. Very nice beach. Here's Ooh. Need a net? Nope, I got him. And uh, uh, if you don't have a boat, they got a pier there. You can fish off the pier. Yeah. You know, so uh, playground for the kids, all that's free. And, uh, you know. You... Just a great place, I'm telling you. Now, I will tell you this, folks. If you come here in October, you might not want to hit the uh, swimming. No, it's no, cold. no. But now it's a pretty cool place and there's a lot of things, a lot of history in the area too, which everyone knows I'm a history. Yeah, guy, you know? yeah, you know, uh, I guess I'm partial, but just a neat place to live and great. Ooh, stuck him. That might be a better fish. That might be a real good fish. Oh, oh my goodness, that's ooh. a good fish. 
Man. Oh. Well, let me tell you, folks, the history here is good, <laughs> and the fishing ain't too shabby. <laughs> no. Gosh, look at that. Look at that, folks. And I was just saying the Butler Gold. Butler Gold. Woo! You know, and, and again, we talk about be green being a place where you can get good numbers, but there are good sized crappie here. Oh, man. Oh. I was getting a little history lesson and catching a few crappie. You don't get much better than that, folks. Nope. Oh. In our fast paced world, it's good to know there is still some place you can escape it all and slow down. That place is Holmes Bend Marina in Kentucky. Holmes Bend Marina has several styles of cabins and suites, perfect for families or small groups. The marina is on beautiful Green River Lake and has amenities to suit a variety of needs. Spend some time on the beach or rent a houseboat. Holmes Bend Marina, Kentucky, the perfect getaway. Visit HolmesBendResort.com. Visiting Columbia, Adair County, Kentucky is a breathtaking experience with so much to see and do. Founded in 1802, Columbia is a small town worth seeing for yourself. Explore the beautiful trails or drive down one of the scenic routes that meander throughout the county. There are fishing, swimming, boating, and skiing opportunities around every corner. While in Columbia, visit Lindsay Wilson College and a historic downtown that boasts numerous thriving shops and restaurants. At the end of a long day, stay at one of the lakeside cabins on beautiful Green River Lake or experience the great outdoors at one of the campgrounds. With so many options for an enjoyable trip, we can't mention it all. So go to visit ColumbiaKY.com for more details and see for yourself why Columbia, Adair County, Kentucky could be the perfect getaway. It took a long time. Yeah, hope I'm trying to get straightened up. First drop in and bingo. Not a big fish, but hey, that's a good sign. We just dropped in. And now David's got one going. That's enough. You want that one? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, you got the reels on the wrong hand here. David's kind of backwards when he fishes, folks. But like <laughs> I say, he is from Kentucky. Gosh. Hey, Russ, this is three for three right here, buddy. Oh. <laughs> that one back but that was a good cleaner right there three poles three fish give now, me a hand here green river lake i mean good eater fish right there not uh not no monster but good eater fish i grabbed that pole went to reel and the, the handle was gone <laughs> it's on the other side hold on i'll get out of your way right here no you're good you're good You know, folks, on almost all of our shows, we do catch and release, but we're going to keep a few today for that pro staff camp, have a fish fry. Yep. It's a little deeper than I thought it was, 14 foot. Here. Goes all the way to the bottom, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, boy. Any size? Oh, not too bad, maybe, but not a hog. Black crappie. Black. First black crappie of the morning, I believe. Yep. As I said earlier, we got a few. You must have got lost, huh? That double middle is. Got him. He's a crappie, I can tell you that much. He's a pretty good one if he's a crappie. Oh. Another black in it. Yep, I believe so. Yep. So David, guys can hire you for black crappie, white crappie. <laughs> They'll get their. But if they wanted more information, how do they get in touch with you? Okay. Uh, best way is go to my website. Okay. It's www.greenriverlakecrappietrips.com. Okay. GreenRiverLakeCrappieTrips.com.
And they can reach right through there. They can reach all my information's on there. And the other thing I want to point out, you don't guide just through the spring. It's a year-round thing. Year-round. All right. And now the Brush Pile Gear Check, sponsored by RTD, Erupt Fishing. Hey, folks, right now it's time for the Brush Pile Gear Check. As far as the rods we were using today, we had 12-foot crappie wizard rods by B&M. Now, we started out spider rigging, but we ended up taking one pole and putting it in our hands because the bite was so light this morning, and that really triggered to a lot of fish. But we kept with the same rod, went with a four pound. We went with a clear. Uh, I know David loves this clear line here. So we've got the four pound clear slime line on. About a foot or so above the uh, jig, we had just a little sinker he clamped on just to get the um, jigs down there a little bit quicker. And as far as the jig of the day and all the bigger fish, you know, sometimes when we have live bait rigs on and we have jigs multiple, sometimes the live bait will get the bigger fish and the numbers, not today. We caught more on the jig and we also caught the bigger fish on the jig. We went with the eye hole jigs. One sixteenth ounce is what we use today. And we put, of course, the slab bites in there. And the crappie magnet, we had several different colors that worked today. But this here is the dude. It caught the last one of the day, as a matter of fact. Butler gold was good and black and chartreuse. Those were the three colors we stuck with mainly today. I also, when I have the butler gold, I go with the pink head. I don't know what it is about that combination, but it works well everywhere I fish. As far as the live bait rig, it's about as simple as you can get. It's a Caps and Coleman rig. Everything is ready to go. You tie it onto your main line and it's ready. You've got the sinker, you've got two uh, minnow hooks, it's ready to go. And like I say, normally you can straighten these out if they do get caught up, but if not and you have to change, it's already on a swivel. It is the easiest way to do a live bait rig. And that's today's brush pile gear check. There, you load it up on that. Might be a good fish. Oh yeah, he's staying down there. They're black. No, they're black. So all of a sudden, we hit a brush pile and saw black crop. Yep, I changed colors, went to the dude the last couple of fish we come off of. Not a black, or a bad one, about a 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. We've never had very many blacks in this lake. Tell you what, that might have been the hardest hit all morning for me. He bumped it. There we go. That's got a little fight to him. There we go. Holy good cow. One. Good one. Another good fish. Golly. Oh. The switch to the dude. Couple black ones, right there. Yeah. Look at that. I made a color change, and the dude has picked up uh, about three or four black crappie, and another nice. What, pound oh, third? Yeah. Pound oh and yeah. Half. Pound and a half. Mmm. Like we talked about, folks. Green has the numbers, and they you can get good fish here. Doggone it! I'll tell you what, David. We've got to get back up to the media camp. So we're going to close her out on this. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We talked about the numbers you can get here at Green. We show we caught probably six, seven real nice fish. So the big fish are here. You got to hunt to find them, but man, you will stay busy all day. David, as always, it's been a pleasure man, fishing with you. It's been a pleasure. I tell you, like you said, and today our bite was slower than normal, yeah. you know, because we talked about the cold front and all of that. But we did have that one pile that was typical green where it was just as fast as you could pull them in. And then we worked and caught some good fish too. Well, I'll tell you what, again, I want to say a big thank you to Holmes Bend Marina and Adair County for having us down here, not only for the show, but for the camp. We're going to get up there, do some video tips, and then I'm coming back out this afternoon. No camera, I'm just going to fish. David, <laughs> thanks a lot, man. Hey, thank you, Russ. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back again with Brush Pile Fishing. I've got a great guest today, David Jones. He is the first one we ever did a show with on Brush Pile Fishing, but we're going to do a nice fall show today. Uh, the fish were active yesterday, but it was a whole lot warmer. But we're coming to you from Holmes Bend Marina. <laughs>
You dirty dog! What's up? I'm thinking, who was that? I saw him coming out like son of a gun. <laughs> you, you held a straight face, too. You were good there, man. Now it's going to take me 20 more tries. <laughs> you dirty dog. All right, we got the sign. Yeah. Special thanks to B&M Pole Company, War Eagle Boats, Crappie Magnet, Slime Line Fishing Line, Cornfield Fishing Gear, Eye Hole Jig, Easy Drift, RTD, Erupt Fishing, Driftmaster, Offshore Tackle Company, Power Pole, Mossback Fish Habitat, Hook and Bullet Sunglasses, Garmin, Columbia, Adair County in Kentucky, Holmes Bend Marina, Green River Lake, Kentucky.